Of course, there are lots of ways of actually earning intrinsics, which you will have to do. And one of the easiest ways to actually learn, learn these, to gain these, to form these. When going into Daviri, at the end of Daviri, or from your orbiter if you wish to do it from there, it's the middle one. You just play the Daviri experience, play it with friends, set on public, otherwise uh, playing with randoms. It can work sometimes, not that well. You can also get them from the circuit, but you get, I believe at most, it's about six a round. Three from the round ending, and if you find the decree as you go, you'll get another three. So it's six per round. It's much easier to just go to the Daviri experience. You get them from chests. You get them from herding animals. You get them from actually completing the missions that you are given while you're in there. Sometimes you get six, sometimes you get three. You get a decree pretty much every time. Taking on the Oral Worm gives you 15 intrinsics. You can get them basically for about an hour in there. You can get a good 180 to 100 intrinsics fairly easily. You just run around and do every little side task that there is. Helping the prisoner escape. I wish they would explain why that person's in handcuffs when there's nobody around them till you get there. Fishing. You can do fishing. Fishing also gives it. Feeding them all will give you an intrinsic, but it's only one. Well, technically it's three intrinsics, but you can only get one decree from doing it. So you can only get intrinsics from fishing once per spot. Whichever intrinsic you decide to max out first is completely up to you. Obviously, combat is improve the drift as fighting skills. Riding enhances the Kaith riding. Opportunity, well, that gives the drifter better luck and more opportunities when it comes to weapons and frames that actually spawn. And endurance boosts the drifter's power of survival. It's basically you want to take all of them to at least rank four before you start deciding which one you actually want to go to. Mainly because, you know, parrying grants 25 health for your drifter. Um, it can be very useful, especially mid-combat, so endurance kind of has to be four. Opportunity, same thing, because that's the first time you get your additional Warframe. That would be your th fourth Warframe. Riding, you can probably get away with ending at three, but four does give you fast travel and combat. Yeah, I'd say three for combat because that allows you the ability, the transference surge that allows you to, as a drifter, summon your Warframe into Daviri for a short period of time, and it is short. Personally, I would go for Opportunity Maxed being the one that you maxed out first because that's how you gain more weapons and more Warframes in Teshin's Cave, and you start pretty much everything with a Decree already. You have a 50% chance to receive a rare Decree, and yeah, you've got to get all the way down to rank 8 before you basically have every weapon and every Warframe slot available, because obviously they're random, there's nothing you can really do about that, and at rank 10, an unlikely ally will occasionally appear in Teshin's Cave as a playable character. Stranger in Black. Don't know why it doesn't just say Stalker, because that's what that means. You can play as the Stalker sometimes. Endurance. Well, when you select a decree, it will fully heal at rank two. The first one is what you basically want more than anything else, because each decree you acquire grants 25 max health per decree. So you can get thousands of health with that one. Parrying can restore health. Uh, plus 50 additional max drifter health is basically when you start, and one additional revive is the same as rank 3. One additional revive means you can revive 8 times. Rest of them, uh, the immortality or the invulnerability for 3 seconds when you die at rank 10 can come in useful sometimes. As you can clearly tell, I haven't actually got there because I'm too, too intrinsic, short of that. Keith riding, yeah, rank 4 fast travel across the map to certain places is fairly useful. The first one you will lock during the quest and everything else, well, 
Plants and rocks are marked on the map when you ride the cave. Can be useful. Riding the cave, press 4 to dismount. Gives you overguard. Uh, name your cave at rank 8. The f bug that cost Platinum to do this has been fixed and a script has been ran to refund people who were charged for it when it doesn't actually say it was supposed to charge you. Rank 10 on this I do find kind of disheartening though. Use the map to fast travel to other drifters. Um, does that also work outside of Daviri? Because, no it doesn't by the way. Rank 9 allows you to summon the cave for the Origin System open world missions. Just like Arkwing, usable in the planes, Fortuna and Demos. Combat I do like because obviously the first one, each decree you will acquire 10% extra damage. Very, very useful, especially if you are farming intrinsics because the more decrees you get, the more intrinsics you get, the more powerful you become. Then restorative boosts uh, movement speed for five seconds. Rank three is great because, as mentioned, you can summon your Warframe into Daviri for a short period of time. And the rest of them, yeah. Cooldown is reduced, uh, cooldown is reduced, rank 6, guiding hand ability exposes the weak points on enemies, uh, rank 7, crit hit is increased, and rank 8 is when it starts to get interesting again because the transference is increased by 50%. 9 is great because it kind of increases damage as well by 25%, but it increases it for the drifter and the operator in the origin system, the rest of the game basically, and rank 10? Using an ability increases the damage by 150%, but it's only in Daviri for this one. So it goes 20, then 25, 30, 45, 65, 90, 125, 160, 205, then to get max rank 255. Meaning, in total terms, it's 20, 45, 75, 120, 185, 275, 400, 560, then 765, meaning once you actually get it to max rank, it takes 1,020 intrinsics for each tree. Uh, that's 4,080 intrinsics total, and yes, there is 60 thousand mastery experience points inside of this apparently i can quickly answer this one by if i i've got to come out of there do i okay show profile it is 1100 my brain just why did why did it do that 115980 to go kind of want that extra 50 health so i'm going to throw throw this from here onwards onto endurance so we've put one point into endurance we'll go back to show profile and there you go 114,480 it was 115,980 which means it's 1,500 per level and there's 10 of these so it works out quite nicely actually as 15,000 mastery points mastery experience points each that is 60 total thousand mastery points available from this intrinsic system yeah I formed that stuff the intrinsics fairly effectively and then got sidetracked doing other things and probably the last two levels of opportunity have come solely from playing the circuit because I stopped forming the intrinsics in the quote-unquote free roam because uh, yeah I was doing other things and didn't actually realize that that was there and with that we'll leave this off here thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time